Noah Lyles has defended his chest-thumping entrances at the Olympics that polarized opinion and has also compared himself to the likes of LeBron James and Michael Jackson. For the first time since his controversial Paris 2024 Olympics outing, Noah Lyles has broken his silence on the criticisms he's faced, the challenges of competing while sick with COVID-19, and why he believes he belongs among the all-time greats, akin to LeBron James. Lyles, the American sprint sensation, lit up the Paris track by claiming the Olympic 100-meter title with a blistering new personal best of 9.79 seconds. This victory not only affirmed his status as the world's fastest man but also marked the United States' first gold in the event in 20 years. With his eyes set on adding the 200-meter title to his achievements, his signature event, Lyles was poised to join legendary sprinters like Carl Lewis and Usain Bolt who have dominated both sprints at the Olympics. In an exclusive interview with Reuters, the 27-year-old world champion addressed the backlash, comparing his situation to that of iconic figures in sports and entertainment. If you throw yourself out there, there's always going to be critics. I mean, you can look at anybody in history, Lyles remarked. You can look at LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players, you can look at Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, anybody who you want to say is great. There's always going to be love, and there's always going to be hate because people are going to form opinions, because you're now so high up there that they can't see you as everyday people of everyday society. Lyles acknowledged that such scrutiny comes with the territory of greatness, adding, and I knew that going into that, and that's just what it is, but I'm very confident in myself to say no matter what anybody says, I know who I am. On the decision to compete in the 200-meter final despite his illness, Lyles explained the mental battle he had to overcome. That's why people are like, well, if you were sick, why did you go out there and jump around? It's like if I didn't do that, I would not have been able to encourage myself enough to get excited to run the race, he said. I had to go in tricking my mind and my body that I was going to run just as well as any other day, but that's the only stuff a champion would know. In the aftermath of his bronze medal performance, Lyles faced criticism from Tabogo, who labeled him as arrogant and loud. Lyles, however, insists that his confidence is often misunderstood. Lyles' decision to withdraw from the 4 by 100 meter final due to his health concerns ended his Paris Olympic journey. As he looks to the remainder of the season, the Adidas-sponsored athlete is determined to regain his form and finish the year strong, capping off what has undoubtedly been a roller coaster campaign. Noah Lyles may have faced unexpected challenges in Paris, but his belief in his place among the greats remains unshaken. As he continues to push the boundaries of what's possible on the track, Lyles proves that the path to greatness is often fraught with trials, yet it is these very trials that define a true champion. I'm <laughs>